Love is in the air and so is Oscar season. What's up everyone? I'm Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report and today we're kicking back at Fig and Olive at Doris Bergman's Oscar Valentine Lounge where celebs are getting the sweetest swag for their Valentines. Oscar season's approaching and you're on the SAG board as well. I'm on the, you have to say SAG after board. Yes, I am. Oh, that's right. Because after we are a merged union. Yes, we are. How has that been going? You know what, we're getting ready to go into negotiations because all the contracts are coming due right this moment and so everybody's hard at work. So. Mm -hmm. What's it like being on the SAG board, SAG after board, especially as an actress yourself? Well, I mean, it's kind of like paying your dues a little bit and stuff like that and try to mentor the younger people coming up because I'm sort of in the older crowd right this moment. And it's also, when I was younger, I was working and didn't get to do stuff. So it's just, you know, I think we all have to kind of do what we can do. So. Yeah. You are a legend in the <laughs> soap world. <laughs> Thank you. I am the full-figured bitch goddess of daytime. Yes. Thank you, Michael Logan. Yes. You have got that down. Oh, honey, it was like... <gasps> Oh, really? I am? I mean, it was one of the biggest blessings of my life and um, uh, something that you will you never forget. And how wonderful everyone has been. It afforded me many opportunities, and it's a great yeah. thing. I mean, it's uh, a, it was some of the hardest work I had to do. So many things to memorize, but, oh, but it was what great. What is the key to memorizing those long scripts? Well, I think what happens is you get older, and it's like any muscle. Your brain is a muscle, and you just have yeah. to you know, keep working and doing stuff. And it got better for me to do stuff. And then writers were writing with my mentor, not mentor, what is the word I want, with my... Um, the beats that I have so that it got mm. like that so it's very good. Writing to you. Yes, yes, okay, nice. yes. Talk about mentoring the young. For all of those stars that were guest starring or coming on to your show, did you kind of give them any advice or say, hey, honey? No, no, I, you know, it's not my place. To, they're there because they're very talented also. Okay. The only thing you would do is say like this, you know, we don't get that many takes. Um, okay, you know, anytime nice. you want to come to my dressing room and we want to, hello, cute boy. No, uh, you come, we'll go over lines and things like that. So it's just sort of being an actor, working yeah. with the, the people, going over your lines, making things better in rehearsal so that you can really get into the character when you are when you're on camera and stuff like that. And I'm, I do mentor for women in film, um, do some mentoring at the union also. I think um, that's important, sort of helping people coming up, um, mm -hmm. you know, just giving back to your community. Definitely. And stuff. Yes. What would you say is the key to becoming a soap star? Oh, honey, I have no idea for that. Somebody said to me, would you consider doing a soap? Work is work. I don't care if it's one line, a one cough, no lines, just a look. If you're an actor, you're going to do it and do the best you can. Um, I um, said, of course I'd be a soap. Who knew that I was going to become the full-figured bitch goddess? I thought it was going to say, here, here's your beer and how you want some peanuts. But, you know, it's not what happened. It was a blessing and wonderful. And then I got that darling Kevin Spiritus, who was my husband on Days of Our Lives. Ooh. So and what's the key to the best soap kiss? Um, how should I say this? Um, the best... You know what it is is just being in the moment. It's like you, you it's I'm not Patrika kissing at this point. I'm Nancy Wesley. Uh, so I think that's where you have to go. It's like um, you become as an actor. You that's who you are. It's not I'm worried about kissing. It's just yeah. I'm going for it, and they're going for it, and that's the thing is you just have to keep doing that. Mm -hmm. What's been your craziest fan moment that you've had? Uh, getting hit by two little old ladies in the park just after I started on days who popped me and then asked for an autograph because they didn't want me messing with Carrie and Mike. Just they boop, right. physically they hit you. slapped me upside the arm. I mean, not viciously, but, <laughs> but I was like, and, and now you want an autograph? You just popped me. So, uh, But it was good. I've never been the villain before, so to come on and be the villain and have yeah. that kind of reaction that I knew I was doing my job. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. And you have a web series as well. Uh, you know what? I just I finished doing uh, Misbehave. Uh, then I did a guest on Bloomers, and um, now we're getting ready to put out Acting Dead, which is terrific. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're get, in fact we're getting ready for a, a grand opening because I guess we're going to start with that. And we have these big award ceremonies coming up for these indie soap awards, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, yeah. that's kind of the future of a lot of television at this point and films. Uh, so we, the web series is here to stay. It's yeah. kind of like where soap operas and everything are going right now. So really? Great. You think so? Well, I mean, I think that uh, we, as um, the older generation, are watching the television. Mm -hmm. You, as the younger generation, are on your phone or your iPad or your something else, and you're pushing in buttons, and you're watching it on a button. You know, mm -hmm. I, I need to sit, take my bra off, and, like, watch TV. I can't be like... <laughs> So it's, but it's, it's offering so much more for young actors to get started, for older actors to have a, 
to play characters they might not have played before. So it's a, it's a whole new um, platform for things, and it's wonderful along those lines. It's being taken way more seriously. Well, I think so. I think when you have the Spielbergs developing a web series, then you know that they're here to stay, yeah. and um, they're a good medium to be in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Okay, Oscar predictions. Are you calling any right now? You know, I love Matthew McConaughey, and I uh, it would be a disservice if he doesn't. Jared Leto, um, mm -hmm. those are the things, um, you know, to be nominated again for me, I have to say it is a wonderful thing, because that's your peers. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think the ladies on um, Hustle mm -hmm. were fabulous, mm -hmm. and so it's very hard mm -hmm. to, uh, to go through and who... There's such different meetings, it's like you want to say, how can you award apples and pears? Because exactly. it's, you know, you have one that's about history, mm -hmm. and there's, you know, for me it's kind of like watching anything, you know, like you're going, oh, I know it's going to end badly because it's history, you know, I don't want to see this. Yeah. Um, so, and then the other thing you're going, oh, Lord, this is 60s, I remember this too, ooh, ooh. Yeah. Um, but then you have um, another true life thing, someone who... Mm -hmm buck the system to say yeah. we need to stay alive and I'm going to do what I can do to help. So, mm -hmm. I mean, we've got wonderful things out there. Yeah. It's apples and oranges. Definitely. I wish there were more categories. Well, you know, I, I kind of wish there were. I think that I think the television industry is going to have to change. I mean, you cannot have the 4,000 television shows that you have on, then at, not to mention you have the new media coming out and all that stuff, and then have, you can pick five actors for best actor. Yeah. You know, that's not even the tip of the iceberg. Mm -hmm. So either you have to say if you've won for this television show once, that's it. We know you know this character. We know you know how to do it. Let's give someone else a chance because it's, it's not just, fair. Well, you know, honey, life is not fair. I mean, I'm going to be the first to tell you, life is not fair. But I think what we have to do is find a way to um, give everyone an opportunity. And again, like I said, now if if Jane Doe wins for ABC show, and then next year she's nominated for the DEF show, but it's entirely different than yes. But if ABC show, she's nominated and nominated and nominated and nominated. Give someone else a chance? Well, it's, yeah, we know you're great in that character. You're yeah. wonderful. And, but someone said to me, well, this is supposed to be the best that year. Well, come on, a new show coming up, that's the best. You, they're going there. This person's had 12 years to figure out how yeah. to make that the best thing. So that's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Everyone has one like everyone has a butt. So, you know, I just do the best I can there. I love it. Valentine's plans for tomorrow? Um, you know, I'm not sure, but if my husband doesn't take me for a lovely dinner, buy me some flowers and a few chocolates, uh, we may not make it to year 41. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and you weren't even an egg. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, yeah. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you for all your work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report, guys. We hope you had a great Valentine's. Let us know who's on your Oscar list this year. Like the video, subscribe, and we'll see you later.